2-2 finish to follow a 104. It's all ifs and buts, isn't it? Oh, my word, it's a, it's a real nail-biter, isn't it? Going one way or the other, that's uh, two legs. That have been a tight, tight call. Hamilton with a dart and a double there to open up again a comfortable lead, comfort zone. And if people at home, many of you wondering, why did Hamilton go that way and leave himself on an awkward double seven? Perfectly reasonable, perfectly simple. He hit the treble 18, he wanted 68, he knew that treble 18 gave him the double, single 18 gave him the ball. That's the way these lads think, all along the line. 100. Increasing the percentage in their favour. Yes, and of course, it, technically speaking, there's more area on double seven than there is in the bullseye, John. Absolutely, any double will be will do. 100. You can hit it. And when the other fellow's on tops, so you'll take any double on the board. And that includes the bull. 100. Another safe and steady turn. I think he's going to be around for years to come, this man Hamilton, and uh, we know Lewis will be. Uh, 100. He's going to be a threat. I think he's going to win a tournament somewhere along the line, and who knows? He might be singing his praises on Saturday night. And he's down at a finish here against the throw, Lewis. Hamilton just lagging a little, considering he had the darts. 134. Yes, if you've Adrian beaten Barnevelt, make sure that he can't win the match play. Quite capable of winning it yourself, as Lewis was looking at the 97. treble 17 football. But, Uricla, well, 104 went, 122 nearly went, 110 might have to go. And he needs it too to save this leg, one would suspect, with Lewis on 64, well within his capabilities. 110 then, Hamilton. Oh dear. He's in trouble now in this leg. That's a very rare slack dart 74. from Hamilton. Adrian and now Lewis with the 64. chance to get back on terms right at the death. Double top. Dropped his dart, had to pick it up. But yeah, look at that. Oh, oh yes, I don't blame him for Adrian doing that Lewis. because uh, it, mean, it means a lot to him. That's absolutely tremendous stuff. It means we're now. Andy Hamilton taking a drink, 10. Adrian Lewis taking a walk, 10. Back here in Blackpool during the break, John Part and Phil Taylor aiming for the ball, for the right of the darts. Taylor won and gave it to John Part. Uh, so, John, the psychology already starting as the big guns level their sights. Yes, uh, Phil Taylor certainly ahead on that score, but uh, he's not stupid. Uh, because of the need to win by two clear legs, he knows that he's not at a disadvantage throwing second. 60. I'll tell you what, David, if in any other match play situation where the two leg situation doesn't arise, he wouldn't have done it. I remember Mardell actually at uh, Bolton once winning the ball and giving Taylor the throw, and it was a silly thing to do because you didn't, you don't have to win by two clear legs there. And I remember Taylor beat him 11 10 or something like that, 13 12, in fact. Uh, this is rather different here at Blackpool. 140. But this match still has to reach its peak and its climax. Ten apiece, we would remind you. Lewis has the throw here. This might go into a playoff situation. 60. Yes, if it goes to effectively 11 apiece we're in a tie break because uh, from then on it would have to be won by two clear legs well, but it would be announced it. at 12 apiece prior to the 25th leg so 
heading inexorably, it would seem, towards that point. And, uh, you know, that double seven on 122 could have made a difference. We can think of moments like that, perhaps. But uh, picking up his sixth maximum here against the throw. And uh, Lewis now looking at treble 17. Oh, a careless dart. Even so, great recovery. Can Hamilton pick off this 1-3-6 against the throw? This again could be a critical moment. Not a possibility now. Lewis on 38 might go a different route. 100. Yeah, it's been interesting to see. I think he likes a challenge. I think double 19 is his target. Yeah, and, uh, so there it is. Why not? He's young. He has a precocious talent, and uh, he's now won three legs in a row, and in fact has won five out of the last six, bouncing back after Hamilton had taken the previous four. And uh, we remember Lewis was beginning to look a little down. 123. But, uh, he's bouncing along a little better now. First time since the 11th leg he's been in front and he was 9-6 down, remember, and looking, 64. as you said, John, just a little ragged. But uh, Hamilton, despite this uh, intense concentration and focus, has had the advantage wrested from him. And we haven't seen an eye blink of emotion from 100. this man. Rock steady. And uh, rather more mercurial. 99. Lewis has produced his moments of, well, hardly magic, but uh, the entertainment value is never far away. Hit some crucial doubles. As we look now, possibly for a 7 180. There it is. Hamilton, having hit four in his match against Peter Manley, now has 11 in the tournament, and Lewis almost uh, hitting his third of the match and his eighth of the tournament. Treble 18 would have left double 12, back for 20s. 58. Well, Lewis, during this tournament, has had 43 shots at a double, and he's been successful 21 times. 100. You win tournaments you with statistics 40. like that. 11 out of 20 in this match. That's good. And that's what's brought him back into contention here. No question about it. Oh, dear. Can't afford to miss this one. 20. Ah. Yes. Did we see even a hint of emotion about Hamilton there after missing double top? And are we now going to see a moment of magic from Lewis? Strebel, 20 would have given double nine. 58. Well, no. Three darts and a double from Hamilton. The first sign of any weakness in his character and resolve. But now he has three clean shots at double ten. Yes, you, know, you just felt that he was 